there are few places on earth that are isolated enough, dry enough, vast enough, and flat enough to test the limits of speed. One of those places is the Bonneville Salt Flats. The world converges on the Utah West Desert to compete for bragging rights and to set world land speed records. At the World of Speed event each year, dreams are fueled with vision, engineering, hard work, and a passion for the sport. B.J. Berkdahl, a third-generation racer, tells about his passion for the Bonneville Salt Flats. One of the things that really happens at Bonneville that we truly enjoy is the sunrises and the sunsets. It's the most amazing thing you've ever seen live. You get asphyxiated with the place. I mean, the place is it's, it's unlike anything else on the face of the earth. I've introduced it to uh, oh, there you are. Uh, hundreds of my friends, and literally, Hundreds. It's not dozens, it's hundreds. I've, I've taken friends out there my entire career. It's been my lifestyle for my entire life. I've grown up a third generation. I mean, it's a part of my entire history. I decided to do all 50s vintage wedding at the bottom of the salt flats. And me and my um, wife at that time was fiance. Obviously, we were high school sweethearts. If I didn't have Bonneville, I wouldn't be me. So, to, to end up with a beautiful woman that supports all of what I do out there is just truly amazing. She's a, a huge part of the crew and, and she's just, she's dynamite. And our kids all spend time with us out there. It, it's a family function for all of us. I mean, my brothers, my father, my mother, and then now my wife and my children. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just a true riot. We have a lot of fun out there. My grandfather got started on the salt flats in the, in the late 30s. It's, in early 40s, he got started at Muroc. He was a Lockheed aircraft engineer. My dad got his racing history in uh, go-karts. My dad continued to campaign other cars in drag racing when my grandfather was, uh, was working on the very first Streamliner. And he started the Streamliner in about 1953 or 54. The car was finished in 57. It ran a 55 Triumph motorcycle engine in it. So the car was powered by a bike motor exactly the way that the S10 is powered today. And then it set three world records at the Bonneville Salt Flats well beyond 175 miles an hour, which led to the very next car, which is the high-powered Streamliner that existed from 1986 all the way through 2004. That it is not supercharged, it runs on alcohol, and it was all built right here in our shop. In what me and my father shot that when it crashed at over 300 miles an hour with my youngest brother Bo driving. Unfortunately, we lost the car in 2004, but you know, coming out of the, the serious crash, we ended up, the driver was unhurt. My brother walked away from a 300 plus mile an hour crash. He's only one of about 10 guys that even exist that have crashed faster than 300 and lived to talk about it. So we're pretty tickled with the entire performance. And that's kind of what led to the S10. The S10 was a good way to get us back into racing because we destroyed the entire car. bought the S10 pickup truck right out of a record yard. I paid $400 for the pickup truck. It 
it was uh, it had a, a blown up engine in it. But we were sitting around in the shop one day and come up with this hairbrained idea to uh, put a bike motor inside of this pickup truck and go set a land speed record with a good friend of mine driving. And to do that, we had to go through a serious amount of uh, modifications to the pickup truck. We started disassembly and we tore the truck down all the way to the chassis, cleared, totally disassembled the entire pickup truck. starters at the Utah Salt Flats Racing Association event, one of which is my brother, Bo Bergdahl, and he's the very last guy to touch a race car. He cinches all the seat belts to make sure the fire bottles are armed and make sure that all the safety equipment's ready to go before we're allowed to start and warm up the car. average at 132 and some change. Um, it worked out perfectly. The fastest we could ever conceive it going with a thousand cc motorcycle engine or a 60 cubic inch bike motor was about 125 miles an hour. We never thought in a million years that the truck would go 138.6. So it's, it's out exceeded everything that we've ever um, thought about it could do. And now it's in the blown class going 145, which is just, it's, it's going way faster than we thought. the same, better on my health. I, I, I truly, truly love it out there. Every time I leave the place, I mean, I'm not even 20 miles outside of Wendover headed back to the Salt Lake Valley, and I've, I'm already thinking about how I'm going to get back there next. I, it's, it's, it's a true, true passion for me. I, I love every minute of it. We're currently building a car to go extremely fast at the Bonneville Salt Flats, and we're looking forward to having that in the Bergdahl Regiment. 